Hey everyone, it's Robin DeGroot with TLC, Truth, Love, Creativity. And I wanted to give an update today about what's been happening with me. And maybe it relates to others in certain situations in the pandemic lockdown time. Uh, basically, I always go to the cards whenever I'm feeling like frustrated or just a little bit down and I do card pull I can pull a card often actually throughout the day um, this is for myself so I thought I'd do one for the reading uh, for today for the global audience and of course it relates to me as well but hopefully it relates to you so I came up with relationship change this is from the uh, numerology guidance cards by Michelle Buchanan. So relationship change reversed. It is looking like this otherwise. It's number 56. So if you add that together, you get 11, which is a partnership card, but 11 is a master number. And it's a unique master number that it holds the independence of the ones as it combines to make a number two. If you would add the one and the one together and you get, you get master number 11, which is, it's really about um, something to do with partnerships, but it's also extra potent. So master numbers are, um, basically I would just say more intense and if you have a master number life path you probably ask to come into this life with more extreme uh, lessons and I consider that is what happened with me and probably what I chose for this life I have a master number 33 as my life path number so when I add up my entire birthday I get 33, and you add those together, you get number six. And six is a lot about healing and service, which I do believe is what I was called here to do. And I do feel like that is what I want to do and what I am learning and all of the healing modalities. Now, a big part of my own journey is that it's not like those things are your natural affinities it's the it's the thing you've come here to do but it's difficult to actually always bring it back to the service and the healing for me because i have my own issues from a long time ago and one of them is anxiety and being emotional and um, living in the future because i'm so hopeful so being grounded, all those things are challenging for me. So this card uh, came up earlier today and then it came up again now. So relationship change is a lot about uh, changes in relationships. It could be many levels of relationships. So it could be something significant with a partner. It could be a child. So maybe a child is moving out child move back in right now if they came back from college or university and maybe you're coming to some agreement with your partner that is about time in a way or something coming that may seem difficult right now but it's going to be good in the longer run for me i take this more as a relationship change with my own self with spirit with my relationship to money this is a huge one and partly because i am in the world of the self-employed so yes we had to stop working the pandemic requires that any body workers and people in close contact service workers stop working so that i understand and i am following those orders However, this unemployment insurance has never been set up for self-employed. So uh, it's 
late, it's last. Like if that's going to be happening for money being given out to self-employed, it we don't know when and it could be a really long time so i actually got a job as an essential worker so i became a cashier in a grocery store never worked in retail in my entire life never had the opportunity to work in retail because i was never hired in it when i actually wanted to work in retail when i was younger so i went from career to career teaching, healthcare, all that stuff. Um, I don't have an RN degree, so no, I was not allowed to help in that situation, even though I do have a lot of healthcare experience, knowledge, and MRI imaging, and um, certain levels of phlebotomy, because for MRI, you do need to inject gadolinium and the uh, contrast. So I do know how to do those things, but when it comes down to your papers and the qualification, then it wouldn't have worked there. But I was hired and I'm working as a cashier. I'm very grateful for the training and for the opportunity. We're wearing the masks, we're wearing the gloves. Whether you believe in those things or not, it's just, this is the standard for the workers. And it's fine. I, I really like my colleagues and I am happy to be able to be doing something because I have extremely active nature and I really um, have a harder time on the days when I'm just home and I'm still trying to find ways to work on my actual business with the coaching and with body work and trying to get things to be online and try to find a way to help people, which just doesn't seem important to most people right now, even though holistic health is actually the entire point. So I think this is really getting highlighted right now. So I, if anything comes of this video, I hope people realize that it's actually really important to take care of your entire holistic spectrum of health. And that includes your mental health, your emotional health, your spiritual health, and your physical health. And that is extremely severely, I was gonna say, affected by those around you. So whether you're alone or whether you are with people, you have to learn to manage your own energy and your own thoughts because your thoughts lead to your beliefs. Your beliefs lead to your actions. Your actions lead to results. And you kind of keep the spiral going. When the results show something, you tend to think about that. You ponder on it. You create certain beliefs about it again. And then you will actually respond to those things because they're now your beliefs. And I've been thinking about this a lot because there's also a lot of po political, um, uh, basically divisions going on right now. And I feel them, I'm in the US, I'm also Canadian. So I feel this very strongly because I have a history of always being on the side where things that regularly work for people don't work for me and a lot of my family. So that's why I always gravitated to full holistic health and spiritual things and things that don't normally get talked about because they're not patentable or whatever. And it's just like I had to take my own health responsibility into my own hands on some level a long time ago. So it started when I was younger. I had all the ear, nose, and throat problems. By the time I was five, I had my tonsils out, but it didn't solve my problems, actually. So it was only when we found the uh, nature paths and doctors of holistic health that starting to change diet really helped me. 
So that was one thing a long time ago. And then eventually I figured out that I had Cushing's disease, which could be autoimmune. It's not really autoimmune. It's not, uh, it's more of an adrenal, uh, it's your hormonal system. So hormonal system affects a lot of things, the messengers in your body. And when these are going haywire, then you have a lot of problems. And I basically found that once I knew what I had and I was tested and basically it proved it all, that it still took 14 years for me to get the surgery. So I actually had to manage my own energy levels a long time before I had this condition corrected. I had to deal with the fact that I couldn't teach anymore because the stress and the ongoing um, obligations of that job don't ever stop and they, I couldn't actually relax or rest anymore. So I went into body work and health after that, but these were all things me trying to manage my own energy. So right now in this situation, while we're all being asked to uh, take care of ourselves, of each other, and be careful and don't overwhelm the healthcare system and all of these things, I respect that, I understand it, but I also feel that it's not talking about the right message. And there needs to be a huge discussion. <laughs> I'm sorry, my uh, tripod troubles again. There needs to be a discussion about personal responsibility for your own health. And I do think on the everyday ongoing uh, situations in our life, we do need to be making sure that we are keeping our immune system strong. Not eating things or smoking things or drinking things that we know weakens us. So I know there's a powerful element of belief in here. So you could believe that these things are good for you. And to some degree, that could actually help you. But because there's so much conflicting information in the world right now, and a lot of it is very powerful, and we know that smoking can lead to cancer or things like that, then it's going to be hard for your belief to actually supersede that at a base level in your subconscious. So my suggestion is just to make sure you're being aware of your own responsibility in everything and your role in your own health. And just like everything that you can do to keep yourself strong, make sure you're doing those things. I'm not so worried about who's going to affect me from the outside because that's not really how life works. It's more like, we affect us and we affect us by our actions every day. It's all these little things in all of the years leading up to this. So when it says the relationship change here, for me, this is important about my relationships to, to my clients, to what I'm doing, to what I have pledged to myself that I want to do. So I'm having a lot of crisis of consciousness days where I feel like, is this really helpful for people? And would they want this or would they need this? Or am I still looking? And that's hard to actually acknowledge, but it's very possible and I am not discounting that. So I'm open to the fact that my relationship to my work and my purpose is still changing. 
And maybe this is happening for others as well. Maybe your actual company has to go bankrupt because of all this. And you will need to rethink everything about what you've been doing for work. If that's the case, don't despair. Just think this always comes of a growth and a situation for good. The universe still looks out for our highest good. And we chose these paths with these certain possibilities in our lifetime for our highest growth and highest good. So I want to say that my personal relationships on some level are changing as well, just because of the distance, just by the nature of distance, it gives me this internal time. The internal time is really important. It's, it's hard for me, but I actually always welcomed that difficulty. When I was in university and I really did art for the main time that I did it for an intense period of time, I had a lot of dark paintings and work. And it was like the first time I really talked about this eternal melancholy in me. And it's not something that I don't like because it's been my confidant for so long. In times when so many people just can't understand what you're going through because they're not going through that. They, they may not have been three years old and every night go to sleep with an earache. So that's just my reality. And it could be that it connects with so many other people. And that's what I love about modern technology, if we can use it for good, that there are so many people who share elements of our journey. And we can take heart and support each other. Now, we do live in a world that requires financial sustenance. <laughs> and I sometimes have troubles with those things. Like, I would love to offer everything I would do for free. But that's part of managing my energy. My energy is still my own commodity, basically, that I have to manage, that I have to um, actually allocate some for me and for my abundance so that it can overflow and help others in a very healthy way. So I would say to take this card today, the relationship change, and notice in the situation right now how your relationships, you might be finding that they're changing, whether you're trying to do that or not. It might be because of the circumstances and it might be just because it's about time. So notice, you don't have to judge it. It's just like, be aware and allow and see that this is on a progression towards something different and it will be good. Now the card was reversed. Mm -hmm. Now this deck doesn't talk a lot about the reverse cards, but I do find that when the relationship card, if it's about something's really changing, maybe someone's and the relationship's ending or someone's moving out, that the reverse card could mean a little bit the opposite of that. So like I was saying, somebody's moving in, the college student might be coming back because the college has been closed, the universities, um, and a relationship may not be dividing, maybe it's coming more together in a certain Maybe you're coming up with boundaries that make your situation work together better. I know there is a bit of a worry about the domestic violence and things like that when some of these relationships are really unhealthy. And some people were actually on the verge of getting in their own situations. But now it's not possible. And that can be re really tricky. So sometimes that can lead to 
some accelerated learning because if you can't just exit the situation, which I often do, like most of the time, that's my first mode of uh, change is because I don't really like confrontation and I don't like um, judgment. <laughs> Not that I don't like confrontations, because actually I like to deal with things head on, so I'm not too afraid of confrontation, but I don't like anger and I don't like judgment. So in order for me to not be so judgmental, often I will just find a way I can remove myself from the situation. But in doing that, for many years, I have delayed the outcomes and I have also not maybe learned that lesson exactly because a lot of the lesson was for me to create boundaries and to create a situation where i spoke up and actually said hey this is what i'm feeling tell me what you're feeling and let's work this out which i am very good at i am the libra after all however my uh combative aries moon does often start to get defensive as soon as the other person does not want to even share what they're feeling. So I get frustrated with those things and then I tend to just leave. So if that is the situation where you're ending up, you are not able to disconnect, then it comes to the point where the changes have to be made with real verbal discussions and things like that. And I just think those can all be good. Also, master number 11 is a very uh, intuitive number. So it's like the two antennas that can download the information. So I would say that this could be seen as a really global situation as well. So if you're thinking that the things you're feeling don't mean that much. Uh, change that thought because they do mean a lot and they're probably right on. And if they're not right on for everyone, they're right on for you. So the intuitive aspect of master number 11 is extremely correct and it can really help you learn things without ever being taught. So this is just like, you bring it up from other lifetimes or something. It just comes to you and you practice it and you try it and it works out. So that's one aspect. The other thing is, I would say this relationship change could be seen on a global level. So yes, we are having relationship uh, changes within the countries, the countries to each other, within the states to each other, within the provinces to each other. and our own idea of the beliefs with our government and all those things are all coming to question. So you can't deny that this card is talking about change and it definitely is and it's happening. It doesn't mean the outcome is going to be obvious. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. I would just notice that the changes are happening. There's something extraordinary happening right now. And take heart that even if it's painful, it will lead to something good. And that I often say with caveat that when you are conscious and aware, because that can happen with anything in life. If you just roll along and see how things are going and you feel like powerless to stop them and you just continue to allow, 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 but you are not feeling at peace with that decision, that's not okay. Because we have our unconscious and we have our conscious. And our unconscious, much more related to the subconscious, has been des uh, designed, directed, taught, basically programmed since we were really young, especially a lot of things before we were five, five years old. So um, those things, we tend to do the second nature stuff, the knee jerk reaction, all those things is a product of the subconscious and kind of being unconscious. Now being unconscious is never 
terrible, except when it's not, it's important to be conscious and it's, uh, there's a moment of decision making and there's a moment of action. And if you're just being unconscious and you're working with patterns that you're always working with, like me and my exiting the situation every time, that's not okay. That's when you have to dig deep and make yourself conscious. Be aware. Look at what's happening. Look at all these relationship dynamics going on on a global scale, in your own home, in your own relationship, in your own self. If I'm feeling like I'm crying today, why is that happening? I do know the earth and the moon are both in Taurus and that's very earthy energy. It's very here and now. I have a hard time with those things. I like to be hopeful for the future. I have taken on a lot of debt because I like to do more and more and more and I want to make something so big and make banners. But then when I'm not allowed to work and the funds are not coming in and then I'm just like, now what? Is everything really going to be okay in this moment? It's hard to say sometimes. And I, it's hard to trust. And I don't just want to continue to do unconscious things in those moments. I want to try to do something that's actually going to make my awareness really sharp. And if that causes me some kind of emotional response, that's okay. My next level is to really direct that emotional response into a creative outlet. Now, I'm not even there yet. And I am the creativity expert. <laughs> and I was an artist for most of my life. But to take those emotions and transmute them into creativity is next level stuff. So I definitely applaud people who can do that. And, and I am still working on it. I'm building my easel wall situation in the garage. And trying to just stop going from emotional to baking or food things and really try to make it into art. Because those are my own challenges, I know that. So I suggest to people to make sure you're not just taking what you're seeing on the news as the law of the land and make sure that you really can remember all the things you've ever known about your own equilibrium. What it takes to keep you feeling healthy, to feeling balanced, to feeling hopeful, to feeling strong. So whatever that takes, remember to do those things. And keep all these other ideas in a certain compartment with a grain of salt. Because really, our own thoughts will still control and create our reality. So I would say with the uh, card reading today and with what I was feeling, I just really wanted to mention about this conscious awareness of what's going on, how people are relating, how you're feeling, how you're relating, to money, to your own energy, to your partners, to your children, all these things, really allow it to be out in the open and take a look at it, see if the changes are requiring some kind of response. Take your time, like be in the moment right now because we really are in this new moon uh, energy that's very earthy. So it's about grounding, it's about uh, being in the present and not being so fearful about it. And one of the things I wanted to mention about that is that being in the present is where your power is. And also not being fearful because our own immune system is dependent on our hormonal system being calm. Because I had an adrenal condition, basically pituitary, was telling the adrenals to make cortisol all the time too much. So 
in that case, my immune system was always suppressed because my hormonal system was taking over because that is the natural design of our hormonal system so that we can run away from predators, which don't really exist now, but we, we have ongoing stress now. So we really, really have to learn to manage that. Because if you continue to have your fear uh, instigating your stress hormones um, high, then you will lower your immune system. And right now it's very important that your immune system is strong. So I, I do know how to manage those things. And that's why I am not, I'm not afraid right now for my health because like, I've been through much worse than this most of my life. And I was always on my own. I was an outlier. So basically I am being an essential worker because I know I can help right now. I know I could actually help people in other ways, but since this is the real allowable way, then I will do that until things change. And I do hope that the systems will be created for the PUA, the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, that they will be quickly organized and sent out to all the self-employed people so they don't have to basically lose their businesses that they've worked on for so many years. For me, it's been, it's been 14 years that I've worked on my own and worked on varying degrees and transformations of my holistic health business. So um, it's not going anywhere. I'm not going to let it because that is everything I'm working towards. It's also, it's my entire purpose in life. I know that. It's my life path number. It's my 10th um, house in Aquarius. It's like all of these things is for healing, global healing. This is what I'm here to do. So I hope that everyone can take heart with this knowledge that you are extremely strong. You are a human being which has been designed to combat so many things. It's just that you've got to know how to work your system. And your system originates with its thoughts. So we have control with our conscious thoughts and we need to direct them into these positive and powerful places. So I implore everyone to do that. Don't just take anything with a um, non-critical eye because we have a very reasoning mind and we should actually look at things from all angles and know what works for you. And basically, if you need help and you need some kind of guidance or even just a, a different perspective, like reach out to some of these people online who are offering many things. I'm offering readings now at uh, pay what you can because I was inspired by a restaurant in Tucson that was doing that. And I just think it's an awesome idea right now. So, and my daughter always goes to this yoga place called Free the People, I think. It was also by donation and just what you can pay. So I actually really like that idea. I'm going to implement that now and I may keep that one level always up because just to have some kind of introduction to me and be able to do something online, I really like that idea. So you can always connect with me. Um, my website is robinmdegroot.com. I have my email on there, robin at robinmdegroot.com. That's the best way to connect with me. If you send me an email, say what you're interested in. If you'd like to do the video call or just audio call, whatever works for you. And we can do a reading. I can tell you a bit about your chart if you have your your birth date, your time and place of birth. Time is always a little tricky, but if you can really get that, that's much more accurate. And yeah, that should be the main things. And then if you want, I can also add up and give you some information about the life path number and some of the other numerology numbers. 
So I'm excited to do that on my days off or my times of the day when I'm not working as a cashier. And I just want people to feel more powerful because you are and we are. So we are still the human race and we won't easily be defeated by a micro organism, even though virus is not necessarily even that. It's DNA and RNA wrapped in a protein shell. So it's not the same as bacteria, so keep that in mind. And some of the things that people are just being told, it's like, just keep everything with an open mind. And remember that you are extremely strong, even if you're not getting all of your same care and checkups you are your own human self and you can do a lot with your mind your beliefs breathing and being positive it's like the most important time right now to do that and i know it's really hard because you're combating this entire wave of a conversation of fear and pessimism and doom and gloom and powerlessness and lockdown it's just even within all of that you can remember who you are and that this will pass and you will come out stronger than ever and know that a lot of authors they wrote very uh magnificent books that are long time bestsellers and all those type of things classics when they were either in jail or they were like in a mountain area somewhere, or they're in some kind of isolation. So it can be a really good time to go inward and incubate this uh, creative expression of all of these thoughts and feelings. And a lot of times it happens when we are put um, under some kind of restriction because we don't have all the opportunity to do all those other things that we used to do. So I really, I just uh, call on your inner spirit and really try to tune into that. I know a lot of people are working from home too, so they're not actually, not actually even getting the time to do all this introspection. And for those people, I do hope you get it because it is a specific time when the world has slowed down a little bit. So I hope you can also get some of that time to look at your life's work and your entire health goals and all of these things and really take a look while it's happening on a global level because that energy in general creates an important um, congruency so it can make it a little bit easier to do the introspection okay well I'm glad I did this today I feel better myself just to get it out of my head and I am hoping that this helps everyone else a little bit the little ray of sunshine and that you'll be able to basically have some kind of transformations in yourself, in your relationships, and in this time with all that you're doing for the world in your life's journey right now. Signing off, take a look at my website, share these videos, and subscribe and like them, and that helps me a lot. Thank you all. I love you.